And now, your first alert weather. Isolated thunderstorms across much of the region this afternoon. Right now on the Snake River Plain, most of us are pretty dry at the moment. Sunny out, Nido Falls, 86 degrees. If you do notice, there's our cam looking up towards the northwest, and we do have some thunderstorms further up the road in I or along I-15. I already got some good breezes coming along in front of that line, too, 16 miles an hour. And our temperature's gotten up to 86 degrees this afternoon. Here's a live look at the Viper Radar. Tons of rain across the region. I guess I should talk about where we don't have rain showers. And that's across central Idaho and around the Snake River Plain from Pocatello up into Idaho Falls. Elsewhere, we got rain showers and thunderstorms all across the west half of the Snake River Plain desert. Also, rain showers and thunderstorms all the way up into west Yellowstone, up to the north of Island Park, and rain showers dotting the southern highlands with lots of flooded vines that are just south of I-86, south of Pocatello, and that's very slowly moving up to the southeast, and we're expecting a lot of rainfall, at least with these storms in particular. Elsewhere, let's take a look at some of the heavier showers across the region. Right now, we got some heavy rain into the Snake River Plain Desert just to the east of Arco. This is slowly moving east, but... Most of these storms not having too much movement to them right now. We have, do have a severe thunderstorm warning that just expired. This has moved up to the northeast along I-15. That's going to slowly move up into Dubois and could maybe clip in towards St. Anthony in the next couple of minutes around there, too. Elsewhere, we just had our newest severe thunderstorm warning just to... Uh, given to us from the National Weather Service. This is until 5.30 in Fremont County. This is just sticking off to the east side of Ashton over towards the Grand Targhee National Forest, and this will expect to probably move into western Wyoming in the next couple of minutes, too. Overall, this is a lot of thunderstorms along a stationary front, so that's why these showers are having trouble moving, honestly, at times. they got a good amount of movement to them, but we're going to be sticking with these thunderstorms throughout the nighttime ahead before we look to finally clear things up into the overnight and into the day tomorrow. We're finally looking at clearing things out, at least for the second half of the weekend, for most of the region. And the main reason for that is we don't have a trough anymore in the Pacific Ocean, so we're actually going to start building in a high pressure into the beginning of the work week. It's just going to take some time until that high really settles into the region and we get the full sunny skies for the entire region uh, heading into the work week. So for the next few hours, look for most of these storms to trek up toward the northeast with most of us clearing out in the Snake River Plain Desert in the next two hours or so. But still lots of heavy thunderstorms uh, expected for areas like Driggs into Teton County up into the upper Snake too and up into Yellowstone as well. When we head into the overnight hours, things will finally dry out for the most part until we get back into the picture tomorrow afternoon. The good news about tomorrow afternoon, the bulk of the storms and moisture moves out farther to the east. So isolated thunderstorms out for southeastern Idaho and western Wyoming. Meanwhile, the rest of the region here in the Snake River Plain and towards central Idaho will stick with mostly clear skies throughout the afternoon, which will be nice to enjoy before the entire region clears up into the day on Monday. With us clearing things up into the work week, that's also going to help the sunshine to warm us up a lot more, which means highs expected back into the 90s. For tomorrow, highs around 90 degrees, just a little bit above normal, at least for Idaho Falls. 86 tomorrow in Preston, 83 in Lava Hot Springs, in Swan Valley, 85 degrees, 84 in Ashton. Lastly, or excuse me, Central Idaho, it's 90 degrees tomorrow in Salmon, 84 in Arco. Lastly, Snake River Plain, at 90 tomorrow in Pocatello, and 87 in Idaho Falls. The eight-day forecast, 88 tomorrow for Blackfoot, and we're up to 94 by Wednesday, thanks to the sunshine. In Rexburg, 85 degrees, up to 91 for Wednesday. Dry days over the next four days before we get rain. Back in the picture on Thursday and Friday. We'll still have isolated thunderstorms tomorrow in Jackson, 83 degrees there. We'll stick with highs in the 80s overall for the long term. And Sam in 90 degrees, up to 95 for Wednesday. Dry days over the next four days before we get rain back into the picture at the end of next week. In Pocatello, 90 degrees, up to 94 for Wednesday. Partly cloudy skies on Wednesday to enjoy. And again, we'll have some dry conditions overall for the next week. In Idaho Falls, with just a slim 10% chance of rain for tomorrow afternoon. And we'll get up to 92 by Wednesday before rain gets back into the picture late next week. Now I'll send it back over to Kaylee.